The Library of Congress has been having an exhibit of the first book printed in the North American colonies, a book of Old Testament Psalms. This book helped shape religious expression in America and also launched the craft of printing in this country. Mark Demunation, the head of the Rare Book and Special Collections Division at the library, tells us more. This is a, a very special and important book, actually, for Americans. This is the Bay Psalm book. It's printed in 1640 in Massachusetts Bay. It is the Book of Psalms, hence the nickname, the Bay Psalm book. Uh, it is the first book printed in what is now the United States. Here we have early settlers struggling, still building homes, frankly, still tilling soil, who in a very short period of time decide that it's necessary to reframe the book of Psalms that they've been singing from and to start afresh. And the fact that it's a religious text then begins to help us understand uh, the approach to life in the new world. It's a highly literate population, number one, since reading is required in the church. Secondly, uh, this is a, a faith that's very strict. This is a faith that sets standards, that exiles people who uh, fail to meet those standards. From the very moment we are printing in colonial America, we are facing control of the press and control of the community through faith. It's very much um, different from the impulse we want to turn to when we talk about the origins of the United States. This text is not the Bible translation that you may be familiar with. The Puritans did their own translation from the Hebrew, which they adapted for singing. So instead of the familiar, the Lord is my shepherd in Psalm 23, their translation Book. is, the Lord to me a shepherd is, want therefore I shall not. The Lord to me a shepherd is, want therefore shall not. Demunation explains how the printing of the Bay Psalm book and of the works that followed was essential to the political culture that developed in the 13 North American colonies and eventually helped promote the ideas of the American Revolution. The English create a well-oiled machine to uh, broadcast revolutionary ideology at a moment's notice, and that's what printers do in the revolution, and it starts here. When you think of how much we read every day on our mobile devices and newspapers, magazines, and books, it's a humbling thought that in North America, it all began with the Bay Psalm book. This book becomes iconic for many, many reasons, as the first piece of printing, but it's also the first piece of American poetry, if you will. It's also the first real American publication of faith, all tied up into this small, very modest, very poorly produced hymn book. The Bay Psalm book exhibition will close on Saturday, January 2nd.